Hi there. Welcome back to the shop. I'm Max, and tonight we're just going to talk about extruders. You know, come along. It'll be fun. And to kick things off, we're going to go all the way back to 2015 and development of the belted extruder. This thing was the workhorse of the Warren community. It had some cool features, especially for the time period. Drivetrain was belt driven, which added quietness. It had a trick uh, latch system that allows you to uh, quickly load and unload filament. And uh, it was actually really reliable. In fact, uh, this is the first final design um, of the belted extruder. This thing printed the final prototypes for uh, Voron, original Voron. Uh, it printed all of the kits. It printed all the prototypes for 1.5, and it printed a lot of the parts for 2.0. Um, so this thing has seen many, many, many spools to the point where the input um, has worn a nice little curve into it from where the spool comes into it. It wasn't a perfect extruder by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it did cement some core values of what a Voron extruder should be. Um, it should be reliable, it should be quiet, and it should include a latch system so you can load and unload filament quickly. Mobius extruder wasn't released um, until Voron 2.0 one release actually um, in 2018 and it became our standard issue extruder for Voron community basically. It was the first extruder that was released by Voron Design not MZBot and uh, it also was the first extruder, Voron extruder to feature a Bontag drive, dual drive gear system. It actually used a five millimeter shaft which uh, solved the issue that belted head with the uh, off-center um, drive gear because uh, Belted used uh, M5 bolt, which isn't actually five millimeters in diameter. Go figure. Yeah, some of the old timers of the Voron community will remember the V-Lock um, 80 tooth gear, which used uh, 40 tooth millimeter gear inside of it. Um, those uh, were hard to print, to say the least. Mobius was also an ambidextrous extruder, so um, you can have any of the two be the input or the output. Uh, depending on where which side of the printer you mounted it on. And lastly, the famous uh, Lambo doors. Uh, you could actually open both sides of it and get full access to the drive gear system so you can clean them out in case of a jam or just periodically because, you know, dust gets built up inside of it. About a year later, we released uh, Mobius 3. Uh, this was an evolutionary step on uh, Mobius design. Um, it used a lot less plastic. Um, it was nicer to look at, and it used a more conventional, at this point, uh, 80 tooth printed gear that has um, a 20T uh, pulley inside of it. Same as Mobius 2. Mobius 3 featured the Lambo doors, uh, but now they were a stack design, and the way they were printed actually improved the um, filament path quite a bit. Um, it still had the latch and unlatch system. Effectively, this was the last Bowden extruder that we've released, a true Bowden extruder, to be precise. The next extruder we released was the Clockwork extruder. That's the direct feed extruder inside the um, afterburner tool head system. Nimgria created the miniaturized version of it called Pocket Watch uh, to feed uh, the Voron Zero. There was one more extruder. It was a stopgap essentially between a Bowden and um, direct feed that we ended up with. Um, it was called Jetpack, and uh, the idea was you would strap it to the back of the X beam on the Voron 2, and it would shorten the Bowden length that the uh, extruder has to push through significantly. Sadly, by the time we figured out the last few issues that remained with that extruder, uh, Afterburner was ready for public beta. Uh, Christmas of last year. So with the release of Afterburner and Clockwork, we just sidestepped all the way to direct feed and never really bothered releasing uh, Jetpack. So at this point, Mobius 3 is getting long in the tooth um, and we need another Broden extruder. And as some of you may know, um, 
Voron extruders are kind of the gateway to the Voron ecosystem. Um, I've seen my fair share of uh, Mobius extruders strapped to Ender 3s or CR 10s. It gets people introduced to what Voron is all about, and it's kind of a stepping stone into Voron ecosystem. So it was time to upgrade. Without further ado, I introduce Voron M4 extruder. This guy is actually interesting. It is an amalgamation of all of the extruders that I just mentioned. The belt tensioning system is from the belted extruder. The drive core is from uh, Mobius 3. And then the latch and unlatch system is from Clockwork. It also uses about half the filament of Mobius 3 and it's overall just a much simpler and easier to build design. This is really satisfying. The latch. It's awesome. I like it. So extruder design is kind of my happy place. Um, they're simple enough machines and they're quick enough prints where that you can build one and put one together and then, then you have a piece of your printer that um, you can play with. I've had an extruder on my desk at work for years um, as kind of a fidget toy. Extruders are a very tactile experience. Um, it's the thing that you touch the most on your printer, if you really think about it. Um, and it should feel great. All right, so I'm excited. Um, the release page for a Voron M4 extruder is in the description below. There you will find everything you need to build one, the SDLs for printing, the detailed bill of materials, the manual, some glamour shots, the works. As always, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.